Warning, the following manga read-along is rated X for sexual moments, scary horror parts, gore, strong language, and sensitive parts that may affect the human mind. Viewer discretion advised. Hello everyone, second kind of stuff I went to anime here. Now... Like you heard in the viewer discretion advised, it is all true. Alright. This is... This is part two of season two for the, uh... Lucy Van Hyven saga. Now, I worked my ass off a few days ago. Getting all these chapters done. Now, if you haven't seen season one, go check that out before this one along with season two, part two. Uh... But yeah, this uh, this video is gonna go up to chapters uh, let's see, let's see four, five, six, and seven. But they're pretty long chapters, so make sure to hit the bell notification so you're notified for more of these mangas that I do, like these, etc. Gaming videos. Lore videos, probably AMVs, probably anime short clips. You know, you, you already know the drill. And then subscribe and like the video, etc. But however, just comment your favorite character down below. Alright. Very excited to do this. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, if you remember in the last part... Of season two, or I should say, well, season one as well. I, n near the end of season one, I should say, we were introduced to a new character named Rem Sasana, and we know that Lucy is back. And a new character as well, another new one, Daniela. She's, uh, an interesting character, I should say. However,. I feel bad for Rem, and you're probably going to see why. And if you want to know who Rem is, this chapter is going to go into further detail for that. So, with, without all that being said, here is Season 2, Part 2 of the Lucy Van Hyven Saga. For this chapter is Chapter 5. And if you want... I'll go ahead and I'll say the name of um, the chapter. This chapter 4 was announced in Season 2, Part 1. Alright, so Chapter 5. Ram Sasna, a.k.a. Lucy Van Hyven, and her girlfriend, Daniela, have sex in the nude, covered in chocolate in a syrup chocolate bathtub. Now... That sounds weird because Season 2 goes into further detail about a lot of stuff. So let's get right into it. 10.15 p.m. So, as your girlfriend, Ramsasana, you sit down and I'll make you a surprise, said Daniela. As Rem sat down, she cleared her mind as Daniela went to the kitchen. She grabbed a huge bucket of chocolate syrup and saw that Rem was resting with her eyes closed. As Daniela went to her bathroom with the chocolate syrup, Rem entered her subconsciousness. 10.23 p.m. Where the fuck am I at? Wait, I can see someone, said Rem, as she saw the person in front of her walking towards her. She took a deep breath and clenched... Her finger, or I should say, clenched her fingers till they cracked on her left hand. Hey, hey you're me, or are you? Are you her? Just tell me, please. I'm not sure where I came from. I'm sick of not remembering a damn thing. When I wake up, said Ramsasna as she had tears of blood running down her face. She fell backwards in this pinkish, dark blue room. 
as the other ram opened her black and red eyes with her red small horns on her white hair on on her head she looked down at the real rem as the orange bright lines under her eyes on her face appeared she pulled out a pistol and said i'm the real you i am the cursed 16 year old daughter of the devil lucy van hyven and you can't remember a thing because I was participating in the mud activities of the death match, and my girlfriend Alex Froster was a half-blooded blue demon because she had sex with me. Anyway, we fell in a river of quicksand after we got out of the mud. The mud burned off of us. We were dressed in all black clothes, and this blood-covered bitch ran at me with a chainsaw. But Alex pushed me on the ground, and as I looked at her, she had her damn head chopped off. And then I got trapped in my body. Then your soul was born, and that is why you can't remember a thing said Lucy, as Rem had snapped back to reality. I think it says, yeah, back to reality. All right. She stood up in Daniela's living room and had smelled chocolate from the bathroom. Huh? The smell of yummy chocolate, said Rem as she entered the bathroom. Saliva had dripped out of her mouth down her chin. She saw the tub was full of chocolate as she read a note saying, Take off your clothes and hop in. Okay, I took off my clothes and I'm getting in. Wait, huh? Where's Daniela at anyway? said Rem Sasna as she got pulled under the dark black chocolate syrup. She submerged from under the dark black chocolate and sat in it as she was now naked, fully covered in dark black chocolate syrup. And so was Daniela. So, babe, do you like it? said Daniela as Rem leaned Daniela's head onto her chocolate covered boobs and said, Yes, Daniela, my darling, I love it. Now then. Let me lick all over you. Is that okay with you? Said Rem as Daniela shook her head. Yes, as it was out of Rem's chocolate-covered tits. And as they kissed sexually, they licked each other's chocolate-covered bodies. Then they had sex for at least 53 minutes while sexually moaning. And after that, Rem relaxed her chocolate-covered body slash head on Daniela's chocolate-covered lap slash body. Hey, can I ask you something, Daniela? Um, sure, Rem, ask away. Okay. As your girlfriend, I'm asking, Do, do you have any parents? said Rem as Daniela was rubbing Rem's hair, but dodged the answer. However, as of 12.30 p.m., both Rem and Daniela hosed off all the chocolate in the front yard as they both dried off. Daniela put on a gray shirt and green dark pants and brown leather shoes, and as Rem Sasna dressed in all black, in a black shirt and black pants and black shoes, both Daniela and Rem got knocked out by some kind of dart in their necks. They soon woke up hours later in a small room. Rem was tied up, strapped to a chair with chains around her whole body. And Daniela was drugged and unable to move. Sitting in a corner in the far left, Rem Sasna and Daniela were kidnapped. And that is chapter 5.
Now, warning here, chapter 6 can get pretty gruesome. Alright, Rem Sosno slash Lucy Van Hyven breaks from being tortured while Danielle is drugged more and forced to watch Rem get tortured. Huh? Ah, ouch. Wait, I don't understand. I just can't move said Daniela as she saw Rem chained up to the chair. She was shocked and yelled for Rem to wake up. Huh? Why, why am I all chained up? My entire body, except for my head. Someone, get me out, said Rem as she saw the door open. She had seen Daniela sitting, but as a hand opened the door. A man dressed all in white with gray eyes and blue hair entered the room. Who are you and why are we here? said Daniela as the man gave Daniela a evil look. As Daniela had a scared look on her face, the man kicked Daniela across the right side of her face as blood spat out of her mouth. Daniela fell forwards facing Rem. Uh, ouch! Uh, who are you? Answer me! said Daniela as she had blood pouring out of her mouth as she saw the man hold a very long knife to Rem's fingers. Rem felt scared. Her eyes glanced at the knife's blade as it touched Rem's index finger on her left hand. My God! Two lesbian girls, huh? My name is Deckham, Dr. Deckham. Now, you can't move because I drugged you and Rem. You, Rem. I'm not a bad person. I'm just gonna unchain your body except for your hands and feet, said Dr. Deckham as he unchained Rem except for her hands and feet. As Rem felt her shirt being lifted from behind her, she then felt the knife's blade poking into her back as she screamed in pain. The knife was dragging up and down as blood sprayed everywhere, all over Rem's right side of her face, all over her back, and a little of her hair. Yeah, a little of blood in her white hair. Ah! It hurts! Someone help me! No more, please! Said Rem as she threw up on herself. But as Rem's back healed up, Rem started to see things as Dr. Deckham forced bleach down Rem's throat. Rem shook her head as she was snapping out of it. Yeah... Rem saw Dr. Deckham grab Daniela's left arm as he faced his knife at Daniela's middle finger. She told his bodyguard to snap Daniela's middle finger till the bone showed. Huh? No, 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 no. Don't do this, please. Snap. Ow! Ah! As Daniela felt the knife blade cut her middle finger off, Daniela was slammed to the floor in agony. Stop it! Don't hurt her! yelled Rem as Dr. Deckham grabbed a chainsaw. He walked to Rem and cut out her eyes as blood gushed down Rem's face under her eyes. She cried blood and began to lose it. I hate this! I can't take it! Ah! Ow! It hurts! I can't see! Why is that? said Rem as she cried more and heard her former self speak to her. Wow, kid, you're bleeding badly, blood all over you, and your eyes are gone, <laughs> said Lucy with no pity for Rem Sassana. I'm not giving up. You're not gonna help us, are you, Lucy Fanhyven? said Rem as she faced her head towards the ceiling. Nope, Rem. I'm not taking over my body because I love to watch you suffer. 
and drown in your sorrow. And I see you're all dressed in black. The only way out of here is to make your rage a power, said Lucy. As Rem said, come forth. Enraged, yelled Rem, as her blue eyes grew back, as they turned full pink. Rem's bottom and top eyelids turned pitch black. As she smiled with insanity, she broke her chains on her feet and hands and stood up as her fingernails turn and tongue turned black. She had a look of evil on her face. Leave Daniela alone now. Fight me, said enraged, as Rem and Lucy's soul were on cooldown. But as enraged undressed till she was naked, she smeared her own blood all over her body, then clenched all of her fingers till they cracked. As enraged saw the bodyguard kick Daniela, Enraged look at the bodyguard and said, You're both dead. Wah! Don't hurt Daniela, you dicks, said Enraged, as she smiled insanely, as her full pink eyes had an evil glance. Yeah, that's some crazy shit right there. That's chapter 6 done. Now, I think chapter 7 is the last part of uh, season 2, part 2. Let's find out, shall we? Chapter 7. Ramsasna slash Lucy Van Hyven use their enraged power as Rem feels broken, but not Lucy. As the light in the room flickered, enraged put her right foot on the chair and kicked off and dashed to the bodyguard with a look of rage. So tell me. Should you die? <laughs> <sighs> so pointless, said enraged as she took a chainsaw and cut the bodyguard in half as blood sprayed all over enraged's naked body. <laughs> My head, who am I? Please help me get out of my body, Ramsasna. No, I won't give up. I won't give up, not yet, Ugh, screamed enraged as she fell to her knees, as she had screamed in such pain as Ram's soul and Lucy's soul tried to take control at once. Huh? I can move again. Hey, Doc, leave my darling alone now, said Daniela with a feeling of hate as she shot out the doctor's kneecaps. He fell to the floor in pain as Daniela's eyes turned from gray to white and red. She aimed the gun at Deckham and said, oh, There we go. Well, any last words, Doc? Any at all? said Daniela as enraged eyes turned back to white and blue. Rem Sosna was back in control of her body. As the blood slipped off of her naked body, she yelled, Do it! Kill him, Daniela! Yelled Rem Sasna. As she couldn't remember a thing, Daniela shot the doctor in the face. As Deckham was dead, Rem dressed back up in her black shirt, black pants, and black shoes. As they walked out of the building, Rem threw a grenade and blew up the place. Two hours later. Listen now. Now. Now that we're back. At your house babe. I need you to talk. I need to talk to you. Said Rem Sasna. As she sat down crying. Hey you're, you're crying. Are you okay? Said Daniela with concern. For Rem. No. I'm not okay. I'm scared. I, I, I don't remember who I am or where I came from, and under your eyes are blue lines, and your eyes are fully blue, said Rem, 
as she wiped her tears. As Daniela had ran to the bathroom, she was scared as her eyes went back to white and gray. Oh, to hell with this. I love Rem Sosna, and she loves me. I am Daniela Mania, and Rem, under her eyes, were orange lines that led all the way to her cheeks, said Daniela, as she got naked. As she walked out of the bathroom, she saw Rem naked on the bed as they both blushed. Daniela crawled over top of Rem as they both felt horny. So, Rem, what does the orange lines under your eyes mean? It means that the daughter of the devil, Lucy Van Hyven, is watching. But these red ones under my eyes mean we love each other, said Rem as she felt hard. Really? My blue ones means we are bound by love. Let's fuck, said Daniela, as she was over top of Rem. As they had sex, they banged each other and licked each other's naked bodies and kissed and had more sex for hours on end and moaned for hours. I love you, Daniela, said Rem, as she moaned and licked Daniela's body and banged her. I love you too, Rem. Even if you are a half of the devil's daughter in you, said Daniela as she continued to bang Rem and licked all over Rem's body as they both moaned. Yeah, that's got a weird ending to it. I think that's it. Is that it? Hold up. Yeah, it is. Uh, so that's chapter 7, season 2, part 2 done. I would like to know what you guys thought of season two part two in the comments down below and my arm feels way tired uh yeah i also want to know who your favorite character is in season two so far and if you don't have a favorite character that's okay but make sure you like the video and make sure that you uh hit the bell notification so that you are notified for more manga relongs like these, uh, AMVs, uh, anime short clips, gaming videos, you know, etc. I really don't need to say all that anymore. Uh, however, I plan on making this horror anime story really long, so you'll only see parts of this manga that I'm making currently. At the time. Only on the weekends. I should get that out there right now. This only comes out on the weekends. However make sure you're subscribed. And like the video. And like I said comment. What you liked. About season 2 so far. Or about the whole story in general. Alright viewers. All of that put aside and being said. This has been Saki Nakaido Stuff finally into anime here. And I am currently out. Peace out y'all.